29, two for 50. Let's get it. Right, J-Mo show this run, two. baby. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's, get it. Let's, get it. Let's get it. It's your man, Jay Smooth, the most interesting man alive. We about to get, get, get it. Yeah. This your boy, Artie Flex, Luger, let's go. Yeah. Shuttle's work, been putting in work since birth, you already know. <laughs> you know it. Let's get it, man. We got a lot. A lot to get into today, man. man. Let's cover Eric. Let's piss these people off. You chime in. I'm going to piss you off. Hey, t today uh, we gonna we gonna get in. We gonna touch on you know what I'm saying a little bit of everything, man. The playoffs. Oh yeah. We gonna talk about the Steelers drama with AB and Le'Veon. We gonna get in about Kyler Murray. We gonna talk about college basketball. The Lakers without Bron. Yep. yep. Harden on fire right now. I made believers. Fire. I made believers. In fire. game <laughs> fucking James. Fuck in hey, game fucking James. Pack, pack versus Bronner. If your name is James, you're great. And Trump Happy <laughs> Meals, man. Oh yeah, something that man really fed them boys some happy bitch. meals. What let's go, fuck? let's let's go playoff time, or AKA playoff time, nigga. Who y'all right. who y'all have? Who did y'all have this week? Who y'all pick? All, all the picks happen. It's going it's gonna come down. To, it's either gonna be Breeze versus Brady or Mahomes versus Golf. That's how it's gonna be. It's gonna Fact. be Mahomes versus Golf. I'm just letting you know that now in advance, ba ba baby baby girl. You know let saying. me tell you something, nigga. Playoff time, nigga. <laughs> playoff time. Hey, listen. You can't spell playoff without Tom. If you want to crown them, then crown their ass. Where you go to school at? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Where you go to school at? Hey, playoff, playoff, playoff. There you go. Hey, listen. I'm telling you now. My guy Pat Mahomes is on another level right now, dog. He is, but uh, it's going to boil down to that clock. And clock management. Andy fucking Reed. Nick can't even hey. fit his fucking pants, but the motherfucker get coached. Hey, the hoodie, so I'm though. I'm telling you. Bill Belichick, come on, man. You yeah. feel, bro, you feel me? There is not, look. Tom Brady is going to go down as the greatest quarterback to ever the play goat. the game. He already the GOAT. Yeah, hey, real talk, but he can go down, too. He's the greatest let's, football player to ever touch the field, let's, too. Let's get into the games, man, that, you know what I'm saying, that was played this past weekend. You know, Chiefs versus the uh, Colts. Nigga. What did y'all have, and, you know, you know, what did y'all expect the outcome to be? Luck was a lady that <laughs> night, okay? <laughs> Luck was a fucking lady that night. Hey, listen, Ebron is who we thought he was. <laughs> hey, God, look, y'all wanted to talk about Ebron in a lot. He showed his true motherfucking colors. Drop hands galore. Yeah, that nigga had pan hands that day. You I'll feel you me? Now. Tell you that now. My guy, Pat Mahomes, is, he, he is who I thought he was. He the truth. The truth. The truth. I can't the deny truth. that. Yeah. The oh, truth. yeah, yeah. I'll give him that. He definitely went, that. He definitely went an MVP, man. Yep. And he just going to give it to that no, boy. No, 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 no. Yeah, this nah, this, this Breeze season, man. Just this Breeze good. season for I'm gonna sure. Tell you, I'm going to tell you why Breeze not going to get it. Come on, 50 touch, any, any, Come on, man. 50 touchdowns and 5,000 yards? He's yeah. not getting it. Yeah. It's over. You got a point. You got a point. So, and got he one game away. Hey, This game right here is, you know what I'm saying, for the shifting of the guards. Is either... Tom Brady gonna keep it rolling, or Mahomes gonna be the you know what I'm saying the one to take the throne. No, nah, Brady Brady gonna go out with a bang, man. Brady gonna go out with a bang for sure. Hey, listen, this is it, goddammit. <laughs> Pat, Patty, Patty, <laughs> Pat Mahomes is taking it home, dog. I'm coming in this bitch next week in a whole Kansas City Chief fit, goddammit. Mark the head, rap and everything. <laughs> All right, hold this. We're going to get into our picks later on. Man, you know what I'm saying? Who we right, have. Yeah. What about, you know what about Dallas and, and, and the Rams? Fuck the Cowboys. Man. Like the fuck I just said. Shout out to the Rams for pussy fucking them. Nigga. I hate the Cowboys. Which I think, what was the biggest takeaway from the game? You know what I'm saying? They what, exposed Zeke Zeke Dak Prescott. They Zeke, nah, Dak played pretty good. Zeke ain't show up. Hey, listen. I don't know what the fuck happened to Zeke. He might have been, he um, got hit. He been on some, uh, you know what I'm saying, E-40 hoes. Man, that first, Bruh. that first Ooh, hit, man. that first hit, Zeke man. took. He was out the game from then. Hey, yeah, no, but you know what's crazy? They say that like as a running back, if you got like one of the top running backs, you gotta hit that nigga to see how he gonna play for the rest of the game. Like really, like make that nigga like reconsider running the fucking ball, and that's what they did. Yeah, um, I mean, he they brought did the boom. Shut, they shut down Zeke. I mean, whenever you play against Dallas, you know, what I'm saying the biggest thing that you want to do is take away Zeke. Yeah. You take away Zeke, you got a good chance of winning the game. You know but see, they Dallas, always try to put the ball into Dak hands for him, you know what I'm saying, to make the plays. As any defensive coordinator, you want to do that. You want to put the ball in Dak hands and say, beat me. Right. You know yeah, and another thing, the Rams, you know, they had that clock management. C.J. Anderson and Ty Gurley running the ball. Yeah, yeah. Killed, I, I killed ain't going to lie. I didn't – I forgot fucking uh, Zeke played. Like, he literally – he did – I mean, shit, he could have did what we did. Sound the couch. 
I'm saying? <laughs> Filter on the little girl booty, rub the little ass. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you know what I'm no. saying? What the fuck? Man, no, I, oh, man. I don't know. But see, but Dallas picking up Amari Cooper is why, like, a lot of teams, he, D- Dallas knew that niggas target Zeke. Niggas target Zeke when, yeah. when you step on the field. So him picking up Amari Cooper was a good a good pickup for real. Well, Dallas picking them niggas up, period, was a good pickup to take some of the pressure off of Zeke. However, though, a lot of the offense do run through Zeke. That's why I said Dak is – I can't fuck with Dak Prescott, personally. I can't. He too inconsistent for me to put in a fucking playoff He ain't been the game. same since he got beat up on spring break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. He ain't been the same since he got his ass beat on spring break. You can't trust a nigga whose name is three letters. <laughs> <laughs> if your name three letters, you doomed from the start. Ain't that right? That's your quote. Hey, look. Hey, look. <laughs> We all missing the point here, dog. It's the Cowboys, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys fuck up, bro. They are walking fuck ups. Yes. Every fucking year, they get to the same fucking spot, and then what happens? They you fu- blew it! They fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They are walking fuck ups. Can't get right. 100%. They defense still too, though. You know what I'm saying? The run, the run defense been good all year. But for them to get, you know what I'm saying, get ran over by Gurley and Anderson the way it happened. You know what I'm saying? You can't you, you can't fault him too much. I can't fault him, man. Fuck <laughs> you them. can't fault him too fuck much. And, them and shout out to CJ Anderson, dog. CJ Anderson oh, has man. been on more teams than the Kardashians. Fire. They have been on more teams. That's this nigga, bang, dog. He, bang, this nigga's bang, a walking bang. victory cigar. Every team he on, he winning. You got that. Shout out to CJ, Marco, man. Marco. He like the Robert Horry of the NFL. He is. Had, on, you know, Brady, we girl. had Brady versus Rivers. Uh, I, what I feel man, like a, legend, a legendary matchup, too. Le- what? What? Two, what? Two, what? Two, Wait, hold on. Two quarterbacks that's going to the Hall of Fame. First battle. Bro, can't take away that. Chargers probably had the most talented team out of the two. But then again, you was playing in Foxborough in that weather against that coach, against that quarterback. It's you against get Tom, down, period. You get down, you know what I'm saying? You get down early versus Tom Brady. You can, it's night night. You can no. forget about it. They put that nigga, Phillip Rivers, on blast. I told you, that nigga's a bitch. If I find Phillip Rivers, I'm punching him in the face. If something about that nigga's face, you just want to punch that nigga. All right, and he was whining. He was whining the whole fucking game, the whole game. He's a crybaby. He's a a Ken Dow bitch. All right. He's passionate about this. Hey, He's a passionate bitch. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> hey man, Philip left his game home with his kids, man. You know he got like fifteen kids, and his game was out there with his fucking kids. That nigga played suck ass. Yeah, suck yeah. Suck ass, dog. Like I don't know what the fuck was wrong, Tom Brady. Must have walked in. He was like, "Ooh, shit, we playing Brady today." Yep. Like, no, his kids was like, 15 voices talking about, come on, Dad." <laughs> That's what the fuck it was. <laughs> that nigga started thinking about child support, nah, divorce, all that shit. Are y'all, are y'all surprised by the way? You know what I'm saying? The Patriots dominated that game in a way. Sonny, Sonny Michelle pretty much control, controlled the tempo. Like, I mean, they the, was running the, it at will on Bosa and Ingram. The Sonny Michelle part, I was surprised yeah. about. But Tom Brady running that fucking game, I was not surprised. I about. wasn't. I'm gonna tell you why I wasn't surprised. Last week, the Chargers versus the Ravens, they put them seven D. They put them like four DBs in the box. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You give Belichick a week to prepare for that. Yeah. He gonna see if yo. He gonna see if yo. You know what I'm saying. Yo, off, yo, uh, see if them DBs can hold up against them offensive linemen. You know what I'm saying. That's 365 pounds on. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that weighed 200 pounds. They're going to win that matchup every time. They was just, they was afraid to come up there and come take on them blocks. Yeah. That's basically what happened. That's what uh, that's what the Seahawks should have did to the Cowboys. We're not going to go there. Man, it's playoff time, bro. He just does what he does, bro. <laughs> like, He's I ain't time. never seen nothing like it. This this nigga, is, he like fucking Jordan. The bro. greatest. That's what Jordan, Jordan didn't lose, but. The greatest white man walking. I don't know walking. what the fuck The greatest is. white man walking, Okay. I, I told you, he man. I don't know what it is, dog. Jump. They, they can't uh, jump, but he can pass. It's kind of good that he in the weak ass <laughs> division too, though. What? Yeah. I mean, Whoa. hold on, wait, wait. Whoa. I mean, but not taking nothing from him. You can't take nothing away from him. But at, at the all, end of the day, forty percent of his career, he played against the Dolphins, the Jets, and the Bills. And the Bills. So y'all saying the Jets wasn't an issue prior? Uh, they like, wasn't. Y'all, a, y'all don't, y'all during know? this run that no. Brady has had, no. no. They be, oh, they got him serious? like once or twice a name couple times best, in the name playoffs. The best quarterback the Dolphins had. You were talking about talking the about Jets the... with Mark Sanchez? <laughs> <laughs> no, not butt fumble. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about because he's been running since like 
2001, 2000. Like they said, yeah, Benny, Benny Testa Birdie was a bad motherfucker. Chad was Pennington good, was a bad motherfucker. It's not worried Penny about They were straight. Niggas is not ball. worried about Benny Testa Birdie. But niggas, was, bro, Teddy he was waving. Man. Somebody grab this man's mic. What is he talking about? All three about? of y'all niggas is fired. All right, I don't give a damn. They still had to. They still had to get to the AFC Championship regardless. Regardless, like you know what I'm saying. When you get to the playoffs, like okay, you you not facing those three teams no more. Vinny you know what I'm saying, but you, you know what I'm saying. You're facing the best teams in the league, but come on, throughout the year, Vinny six games, six games out the year, you got to play. Vinny Testaverde, bro. Vinny yeah, Vinny Testaverde, Chad bro. Pennington. I ain't gonna hold you up. The only reason why name I know, the fucking the, name the Bills quarterback. Hey, listen, the only reason why oh, I know the niggas' names because of man, Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I don't even. I don't even I know the name. Exactly. Exactly. Shout hey, out to Vinny Testaverde. The Birdie. only Bills quarterback that we acknowledge is Jim Kelly, dog. That's it. Bro, put put Vinny Testaverde no, no, as the wait, logo. Listen, listen, cut his damn mic off. This nigga said Vinny Testaverde in this fucking podcast. What the fuck, dog? Hey. That nigga's great. Let's pull up hey, his stats. Let's, let's move on. I ain't about to keep talking about Vinny Testaverde. Yes, bro. Let's, like, let's talk hey, about my man. The, the Saints versus Philly. I'm not going to lie. When I was watching the game and when Breeze threw that first, first pick. First pass first of the throw, game. I, and they, and, and they and Philly went down, down the there and marched it down the field. I thought it was over. I thought Foles was about to have one of them games that he had in the Super Bowl. Where yeah. I was like, it ain't yeah. nothing that you can do, and it's finna be a wrap. He still could have, though, at the end of the game. It just Alshon have. Jeffrey just let it slip through his Alshon hand. Alshon a hoe for that. Yeah, that, He's that, a was a, that was a No, he's hit. sick. He he, me that. being he's a receiver, fucked. that really, that pissed me off. He like, cried. The game ended because of you. Yeah. Like, you wasn't clutch when it was money time. You know you can't bring that weak ass stuff up in this humpy bumpy. That shit. Hey, that nigga outside Jeffrey been hanging with Eric Ebron during the whole <laughs> <laughs> What we going to do is drop the shit out the ball, all right? Hey, look, dog, them niggas had a clubhouse this weekend talking about some, hey, look, bro, this is the game plan. Yeah. <laughs> drop, drop that, that bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> drop that bitch. Ooh. Yeah, that no, bitch come towards you. Ooh. I don't know, dog. Cuz tripping, dog. Nah, but who did y'all? Who did y'all? Who was y'all picks though? Who did y'all have? I thought I, I, I thought Philly had, was about to get ready and win. I though. still had the, I still I had Breeze because I want to see Breeze versus Brady. I I, 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 I want to see that. That's the matchup. That's that's yeah. the, that's the matchup that everybody gonna want. But it don't never yeah. go like that though. It don't. It that's go, why this I week is so. this week anything anything is possible in this game. Anything is possible. Anything. Hey, listen, I don't want that. You don't. <laughs> I want to see the young bucks. God damn it. Oh, I want to see offense again. Jared Goff. Versus Patty Mahomes, <laughs> goddamn That's who I want to see. I don't want to see these old niggas. Don't they time is they already dog, they don't want enough. You don't want to <laughs> Damn dog. Can somebody else win? You don't want to see the yeah. pocket game? No. <laughs> no. I want to see offense, offense, and offense, goddammit. Man, hey. So, so you your want, favorite you want Mahomes versus Breeze. No. He Listen, won't I'll Mahomes. take I'll take anybody but he Tom Brady. Won't bro. See, look, <laughs> I just really, your I really just want uncle, Mahomes. Your favorite uncle, Uncle Spooty said he want to see Brady. Niggas really hate he Brady because Brady. he continues he continues to win. He continues like, damn, this nigga doing it again, yeah, like bro. again. Tom Goat. Like that's why. Like this week, if they go in, they go into Kansas City where it's a tough place to play, right? Arrowhead. And they beat them. Tom niggas Goat. gonna be like, damn, again. Like Tom he Goat. back in the Super Bowl going for six. Hey, real talk, he should just drop his last, like his first name. This nigga should just name himself nah. Brady. Like McLovin. Just fuck it. Brady. <laughs> hey, man, listen, dog. Brady. I fucks with Spooty, dog. Spooty, my guy. Bro, you ain't tired of fucking Tom Brady yet, Bro, dog. this whole this whole lie about to yeah. say Brady, nigga. Because he's goat. Man, y'all crazy. Bad. Yo, this nigga Brady, he's ain't, this bad. nigga Patrick Mahomes is throwing no look. NFL passes in in See, real you, games. You talk, but look, Tom in Brady. Game. Tom Brady has sound effects when he throws his pass. When the ball leaves his hand, it go bah to whoever the fuck catches the ball. Listen, <laughs> listen. Did anybody check the air of the balls? Because you know they might have been flat. You know it, somebody no. better check the air in the balls, man. You know them niggas probably cheating still. It ain't no air in the balls. It's all bad when you throw the <laughs> ball. Th it's bad, man. Listen, dog. I love Brady, dog. But damn, like I wouldn't be mad if he won. I just think Pat Mahomes is going to win. All right, you're not invited you know to the saying? Super Bowl party, then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, producer got a question. Yep, it's producer deal. got a question. Oh, Tom Brady wins. Yes. I want to ask the question, you guys. Okay. Is he considered the best football player ever? So, so the question was, if Tom Brady wins, is he going to be the best football player ever? Live from the pigment of me and how I feel about how him, nah. he's going to be the greatest player to ever touch the fucking field, okay? Tom Bad. 
the question was, you know, like I said, Tom Brady won another one. Is he the greatest football player of all time? Not just quarterback. Period. Uh, yes. Bad. It's tough. It's a tough bad. It's a Go, tough, it's a tough question because you got Barry, you got oh. Dion. Oh. Mm. You got man. you got Lawrence. No, we gonna t- oh we gonna talk about nah, that later. Nah, look, nah, we nah, gonna talk about nah, that if later. I, if I gotta shut the fuck up about Vinny you got look, Birdie, nigga, you got you got you, you got, got Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> but I wouldn't no, you say don't. I like Peyton. Man. It's I'll gonna be, it's gonna be tough to deny this. You know what I'm saying? That he's not probably the greatest football player of all time. He yeah. Well, I said it's yeah. Be tough. You, you said tough. What you say? Listen, man. Oh God. This nigga Tom Brady got <laughs> bailed the fuck out for three fucking Super Bowls, dog. Like, the first one, he wasn't even supposed to be there. It was a fumble. It's my quarterback. It was literally a fumble. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? But if he win, that nigga's the GOAT, man. No, no, you don't say he's the GOAT, bro. You have to say he's bad. Say it. Say he's bad. I'm not saying he's bad. Because, bad. because, yeah. hey, because Peyton Manning. Is the greatest regular season quarterback of all regular time. Season. Regular season. The James Harden. Well, well, James Harden. Well, hey, listen. Hey, listen. I don't fuck with James Harden, but Peyton Man, Manning is the James Harden. Harden. Don't y'all start. Uh, NFL, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. You feel me? Let's, all I hear is bad. When hey. you say Tom Brady, you don't even say Bray. You say let me bad. Get you, let me get your intake on that. Man. What, you, what you think? On the, the whole Brady situation? Yeah, hey, what you think? He the GOAT. Period. If That's he, it. If he winning, he's he say go. bad. He, he's the even bad. Even if he don't, he's, he's let me hear the go. sound effect, even if nigga. He don't. Let me hear it. I ain't Wait, doing we just hear <laughs> um, a Michigan State Spartan say uh, a university. Uh oh. Combo breaker. Damn son, where'd you find this? He's probably gonna be the greatest football player of all time. Yes. Hey, you know you're not allowed in the end zone. The end zone no more, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Yeah. You know you fucked up, right? Hey, look, I know one thing. Trust me. When, when we play on college basketball, when we play them, state gonna win. <laughs> That's a good segue. We gonna put a bet on that. Let's get to that. Hey, let's, let's, let's get to let's, that. Uh, let's, 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 let's first let's, let's get it. Let's get into the Steelers drama. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. AB yes. and uh, you know what I'm saying with well, Le'Veon. I know y'all been seeing the reports of you know Antonio Brown unfollowing everybody on the Steelers. Yep. Yep. Bro, how old is uh, he? Bro? He 13 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that uh, the a coach, dry, coach, uh, coach uh, Aaron's called him a diva. He is. He's I mean, a fucking diva, dog. He's a fucking. He diva. obviously don't want to be there. And I, one thing I can say about AB, you know, what I'm saying he, he the best receiver in the league. Mm. Mm. He the best receiver in the league. Mm. You coming from, you know, what I'm saying a, a fifth round, a fifth round draft pick. <laughs> oh no, wait, a fifth round draft pick to, you know, what I'm saying where he at right now. He's the best receiver he's gonna, in the league. He's gonna want his. He's gonna want his catches. He's gonna want his yards. He's gonna want his targets. He's the best receiver in the league. He's the best receiver in the league. There's a guy yeah. in Houston <laughs> oh. with dreadlocks. Yeah, he's better than Hop. Named D Hop. He's better than Hop. Who literally caught every <laughs> single pass thrown his way. Anything that touched that man's hands <laughs> stuck. Blue season hands, nigga. Like, I ain't like, I like AB, you know what I'm saying? AB is after like a fucking diva, you know what I'm saying? Cause like Pull you don't get you don't down. get put out the game, you know what I'm saying? You don't you don't get like not go to practice and then miss the game right before the playoffs. Like he's legit probably the reason why they lost. I can't fuck with that. And niggas want him to come to the Lions. I mean, I do. But Right. He can leave that diva shit. He can leave that diva shit in Pittsburgh, like for real, because so ain't nobody got time for that shit. Is, y'all, y'all teams, whoever y'all teams is, okay. If y'all giving up a first round pick for Antonio Brown, of course, he might try to ah, uh, yeah, on the Seahawks, yeah, if no trying, question. If you trying to win right now, yeah, on the Seahawks, I, we'll, we'll take him. We'll take him. Yeah, y'all we'll gonna take him. have but to. We take, would, he's the best receiver take, in the league. Cut nobody because. How I can't say he the you best see, You see how much he at least top three. Check, top three, top check top Juju top three. stats. Top five. Why that, Juju get them stats this year, bro? Who drawing the double teams? Man. Who draw? Who who shifting the coverage? Every point. week, every <laughs> week the defensive coordinator. Who the first person on the? You know what I'm saying? Who we got to stop list? A B. That's they only motherfucker. Juju. Uh, they, that's James Conner. It was Lay Bell when Lay Bell was there. Yeah, then Lay Bell. But but see, Le'Veon Bell did that bullshit. He thought the Steelers wasn't gonna have another better running back. They don't have another better AB running back. Doing this shit right now, Juju got fucking hands. This shit. Okay, so the, the shit he, with Le'Veon. The shit with Le'Veon. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying. Le'Veon. They late. You know what I'm saying. They called his bluff. They didn't think that Le'Veon was gonna miss the entire season. Le'Veon said, "Look, 
If y'all ain't willing to pay me, I'm willing to miss the whole season. They called his bluff. They didn't think that he was going to miss out on 16 weeks, you know what I'm saying, the game checks. He said, fuck it. Y'all not going to pay me? I'm not. I need my money. Period. Hey, listen, we're not going to sit here and act like this nigga wasn't a damn fool for doing that shit, too. Right. Because ain't no, ain't no way. I, listen, I don't give a fuck what the fuck he is talking about, nigga. I'm going to be out there. I might have missed a couple games, but shit. Nigga, rent. Is that, right, right. You know mortgage, what I'm nigga, mortgage, 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 nigga. I want a new <laughs> car. You know I'm what a taking, car? I'm taking my VA package. You know what a car note is on a motherfucking Lamborghini? <laughs> right. God damn it. I don't know, but I know it's expensive. <laughs> All of our income tax check put right, together I, is a fucking note on a Lambo. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, moving forward, we know that Lay Bell probably is not going to be there. We know that we AB, know out of there. we know that they're not going to be there. I think that the, the brunt of all this, of all the problems, is Ben Roethlisberger. He point, mm. the, he point the blame at everybody. He point the finger at everybody. He don't blame the fact, blame the fact, oh, AB, you ran the wrong route, or you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Yeah. Bro, you can't keep coming think, at me like this, bro. I'm you getting these numbers because I'm out here. End of the end of the day, if AB ain't out there, do Ben Roethlisberger throw for five thousand yards? Hell no. Nah. Hell yeah. You can't talk to me well, any I, kind of I way. Get, I give I gotta give props though and respects to his tight end though. Uh, dude, what is that? Vance McDonald. McDonald. Yeah. It's good, but he ain't AB. Listen, he ain't AB, but I'm saying he picks up that dumb dump off yardage that they need. You feel me? And he'll turn a five yard play in a fifteen quick. So we really talking about this quarterback who got a sexual assault case. And you know what I'm saying? All these black dudes, you know what I'm saying? As soon as we do something, you know what I'm saying? We end up at home with our moms, and this nigga is the starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, I ain't with that shit. I fuck with Big Ben, though. He a hell of a quarterback, but I don't know. Some can't fuck with his off-field life. I can't fuck with him off the field. Like, bro, bro tripping. Bro tripping, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, that's just me. I don't know. I, what what the fuck do I know? I'm sitting there doing a podcast with y'all. Niggas, <laughs> <in my mind. laughs> so, I can pay for this <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot. Going it's some on free in the world, ass man. stats. I ain't, even, I ain't even gonna touch on the whole rape thing, man. Yeah, I ain't yeah that ain't that ain't our field. field. Hey, time fuck that. This is a sportsman like conduct. <laughs> goddamn, we doing what the fuck we want to do. Brought to you by <laughs> the forecast. Man. Come on now, right, man? The forecast in the game is this fucking voice. Right. Uh, some more big news that's been going on in the sports world, man, is Kyler Murray. Hey. Uh, him having a choice of, you know, well, he got drafted, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in baseball as a top 10 pick. In football, he got a chance to do the same thing. The first He could be the first player ever to get drafted in the first round in two major sports. Yeah. I was going to say because, I mean, that's yeah. that, that's 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 hype. You feel yeah. me? I, I want to know, but though. Niggas, niggas be sleeping. On my mans. On who? Because Russ is at the Yankees training camp right now, nigga. Yeah, he is. So he yeah. ain't the only, and he's a pitcher. But my thing is, though, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't a high draft choice. Like, no, he wasn't. No, you know no, no, saying? no, He no, got no. drafted like ninth. And then, you know what I'm saying, he played quarterback one of the highs, and he got a chance to, you know what I'm saying, be another top ten pick. So I, I guess my question would be like, you know what I'm saying, he declared for the draft. My thing, with, my question would be, you know what I'm saying, what, what would y'all have done in that situation? I'm playing baseball. Why? Because it's not a guarantee. Even though he he gonna get picked high, yeah. it's gonna depend on the team. It's gonna depend on and he he's short. He's undersized. What it, team would you want to see him on in the, in the top ten? If I had to see him on the top ten, because I know who I would pick. But go ahead. In the NFL, yeah. For one, he had to go to the NFC. So I would say probably the Bears. <clears throat> he's not I, going to no, the Bears because they, they got Trubisky. They got Trubisky. I, so, but I, the only reason why is because like. I think he's a little bit more accurate than Trubisky. Trubisky is, good, good when his feet is going. We talking about a high draft pick. You talking about you, you just want the Heisman? But you want you talking about the top ten, the top ten teams who got the pick? Yeah, who got the picks? I mean, only the Giants. The Giant. That's where I see him. The, the Giants. Giants with Saquon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Odell. That's a, that's a game Shep, Ingram. It's a game. It's. It is, but I think I think he baseball longevity wise, I will play baseball. Listen, man, you gotta think, dog. <laughs> And this is what this shit all comes down to. You either going to be the quarterback of a team in New York City, the, the top market in the country, right? Or you're going to be playing <laughs> double A ball in fucking Nebraska. Like, <laughs> it's not even a motherfucking choice. And it's at least for like, five years before yeah, they even like, call them up. Dog, like, be realistic, dog. You a top pick in the MLB draft. Now I'm talking to the team. He won't be seen in an NBA, MLB game until sometime next year. Two no, years from now, yeah, two years. when he could actually be on the New York Giants and be balling the fuck out, well, endorsement deals, how the, 
you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be the nigga of the group. He gonna have the hoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so nah, so nah, you know what I'm saying? He playing in New York, like I said, the top market. You can't beat that, man. Well, the NFL you can't soft now, nah, so I mean, yeah, but I, I, I personally, I would play baseball. And then if the I position chance, he, that he had a quarterback, it ain't like he a running back. He, yeah. he playing quarterback. <laughs> I, it ain't like he playing left tackle. <laughs> <laughs> so I he, say, I say, you know what I'm saying? And that, man, that's that's a tough choice. But at the end of the day, it's millions on the tables in, in both, both sports, both right? Sports, though. But the thing about baseball, though, you gotta wait to get that bread. Like, yeah, the MVP Altuve right now. He had to wait like seven years just to get that, you know what I'm saying, that major contract. And we talking about the best player in baseball down there. Yeah, in football, he'd be able to get it right, you know what I'm saying, he'd be able to get that, you know what I'm saying, that upfront money. And then three years later, three or four years later, you know what I'm saying, he able to re-up again and then yep. to keep re-ing up. See, I'm, I'm, I'm on the more <laughs> so like his fucking career-wise. Like, dog, dog will get smacked. You just – and, and but you know, you not can't play the, yeah, you can't play the game. You know, you know what I'm saying, and, and fear that something gonna happen. But you just gotta a, play. It's a chance, and it might it might fuck it. That's what I'm saying. If I want to be safe and still get bread, yeah, I'm going to baseball. You can get hurt in baseball too. That bitch coming a hundred miles per hour. That, I could get hit in my fucking ooh, face too. At a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> coming. So why? Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, 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 that boy's a pause. freaky boy. <laughs> Hours waiting. He's sick as hell. Oh, Nigga, a freak. Pause, 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 Talk about man, coming. Pause. Hey, hey. Coming. This unsportsmanlike conduct, kind of, goddamn it, but we don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Us, <laughs> unsportsmanlike conduct. Kind of. Hey, uh, yeah, right. It's the three, three, uh, three wise men and baby Jesus. Baby, baby coming. <laughs> baby coming. Baby coming over there. Yeah, right. Hey man, what, what that lady say out the bad boys too, man? I don't know, but your talking privileges Jesus. is in time out right now, bro. Yeah. It sounds like you need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's let's uh let's fast forward, man. Let's touch on um let's touch on college basketball and what's going on right now. Duke just lost to Syracuse. That to two Syracuse. three zone, I tell that two three uh, zone. Michigan is now number one. Yep. Uh, we got what possibly what a top five matchup coming up with MSU versus uh you know U of M. You're no longer allowed to talk about <laughs> Spartans when you clearly said Tom Brady is the GOAT, but that's not the hero there. I'm going right. to keep he going. The goat. He, he the GOAT, but who y'all got? You know what I'm saying? Moving. Let me get everybody picks, you know what I'm saying? Who y'all got, you know what I'm saying, to win the whole thing or who y'all final four, y'all believe? Final four, Artie. Let's start I'm going to still, still go Duke because they got the most talent out of everybody. I mean, when it come, when it come down to it, R.J. Mm-hmm. Barrett, Zion. I mean, you can't go against that, man. R.J. Bear shoot 115 uh, times he a do, game. He do, he do though, he do, he like, do. Boy, get, boy, be getting <laughs> shots up. I ain't gonna lie, like, dude, shoot, shoot that bitch every fucking time he touches the ball. Yeah. Like, the nigga probably have it like 30 and, and uh, an assist at the point, at the <laughs> right. shooting guard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I got, uh, I like, uh, I like st- Tom Izzo, man. He ain't, he ain't. <laughs> Izzo been pissing me off, dog. Like. I fuck with Michigan. I fuck with Michigan State uh, basketball, right? I love Izzo. I I love Izzo. So, I like U of M, U of M, and Sparty in the Final Four. I like Virginia. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Virginia, they looking real, real good. Mm-hmm. And I want to say Duke, but it's always that one team that always <laughs> lose in the second week. You know what I'm saying? Other other uh, you know what I'm saying? The tournament. So. I'm gonna just I'm gonna say for sure I like I like Sparty I like Sparty and uh and U of M and Virginia and you know what I'm saying Duke but you know they got them injuries now nah, man you know yeah. what I'm saying the point guard don't went down uh Cam, Cam Reddish, Reddish he was he was sick, sick. yeah he was yeah. sick that he nigga was had sick. mono <laughs> kissing those dirty <laughs> ass bitches you know can't nah, kiss these hoes yeah man but I don't know man if they get that guard situation together you know what I'm saying I like Duke but I don't know this this the year this the year the glove bro. Hey, Michigan I'm about to, Michigan State, man. See, we, I, we in it. If I had to pick my four right now, I go Duke. I go Michigan. Y'all niggas ain't mentioned Kansas. Kansas been putting on some ass whoopings too. They been yeah, they been putting on some ass whoopings. And I I sorry, I still like the firepower of Villanova. Like they 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 they, they bottled the first, well, they they fucked up the first half of the season. But they starting to get it together because everybody's starting <laughs> to play their role. You do know Villanova lost by a thousand to U of M. 
I just <laughs> said they fucked up the first half of the season. At, I at home. Listen, man. Did you watch? Did you just watch the Villanova game Saturday? I haven't. Against, wa- I, haven't wa- I haven't watched them. Okay, since that's what they I, lost by forty at it don't, home. Motherfuckers get popped every day, b. Not by forty at home. Niggas got who? Gets, Are they ranked? No, they're not ranked. They're not ranked. They fell out. The oh, rankings. so you said a, a team that's not ranked is gonna go? I to said the, because oh. once they you got to th- that coach that coach oh. over there is a bad man. He he just got to get them to mess. They had too many. My thing is Javon Quinterly coming in at a top five point guard status. He Felt like he he messed the, that up because he came in with the prima donna status that he needs to start. Hey, he 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 not looking all that jelly fam shit. He looking he ain't looking too hot. But man. you gotta watch him now. Like he didn't had a whole conversation. His name's been in the in the blogs. His name's been all over ESPN yeah. as far as like wanting to transfer because he's not getting the looks that he wants. He feels he needs to start. He had a conversation with the coach and he put him in a in a perspective, basically saying like you have to grow. In that system, uh-huh. as a point guard, because you got to look at look at Jalen Brunson. Mm-hmm. You feel me? He he came. He was down. He was behind like Josh Hart. He was, they had a whole good guard core. Mm-hmm. Jalen Brunson had to grow in that system. Javon Quinterly is a is a good point guard. He has the the potential to be a great point guard, but he has to get that YouTube sensation out of his head. He See, has to play. It's in funny. That system. It's funny that you brought up YouTube sensation because I know a YouTube sensation. You know what I'm saying? That plays for the University of Duke. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> y'all might have seen him, uh, Zion Williamson. I said and, Duke no, 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 is in my no, four. No, 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 I said no, no, Duke no. would be in my about, four. We're talking about uh, Javon Quinterly. Oh my God, Jelly Fam, right? Yeah. Well, I got a dude that's on Dunk Fam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's been dunking the fuck out of that bitch every chance that you get, and that he get the nigga head hit the fucking backboard. Man. You know what I'm saying? The potential number one draft pick. You know, not to mention that hopefully the Pistons can get him because you know we suck. <laughs> I told you, know, him, no, he there, need to go to change. the Bulls. You know what I'm saying? If if he's meshing well, uh, Cam Reddish don't seem to be missing the beat. Uh, R.J. Barrett is not missing the beat. Uh, be, a, even the freshman from Michigan State, he's not missing the beat. Oh, that guy from Michigan, the foreigner, he's not missing the beat. But all of a sudden, the YouTube sensation, Javon Quinterly, is missing the beat. Because no, that nigga was flat out not ready for college basketball. No, it's not that. And, and, and his ass, is, and it's showing. It's not it's that. Showing. You're going, you're a top five point guard that's going to the defending national championship team. That system is already set. Duke had a whole five of young niggas that's coming just to hoop to get there. He's already going to a winning system. That's what I'm saying. Well, not saying Duke is not a winning system, but. My foe would, I I don't, I can't agree with the Villanova. Just for the simple fact, they don't got, you know what I'm saying, the squad that they had last year, man. That was a veteran group. You can't expect they for these. You can't expect for them two young people. boys. They're only Who? missing two. The only two people Brunson. that left us, Brunson. Who else? And DiFrancenzo. And what about, uh, I can't think his name yeah, right man, now. But no, man. he got drafted to Philly, but they traded him on like draft night. His mom's work for Philly. I can't think oh, his I know name right talk, now. I know you're about, top yeah. 10 pick. He was a lottery he pick, top, I believe. But they still have a top 10 pick you on their why, roster. You know why now. we don't know his name? Because he ain't doing shit in the NBA. That's why. <laughs> you know, they still, <laughs> that's why don't they still have a right they now. still have a top 10 pick. In, uh, Pascal. Pascal. I'm a, you pronounce I'm a go. Name. I'm going to go Duke. They got the most talent, man. They got the most talent for sure. I can't count out Calipari. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just can't. At the end of the day, it come down to coaching and then come to guards. I like Cal. Of course, I'm going to roll with Michigan, you know what I'm saying, Michigan State. I I, I believe that them, one of them going to make it. I don't know which one, but I'm going with State. I'm going with State, but I don't I don't know. I'm not counting Michigan out. Oh, you better have it. They didn't know, they didn't know one team in the country right now, but I'm not I'm not going to count them out. I ain't going to just going to throw them I'm going with State before it's party. I, I believe they're going to be there. I got, hopefully, this Duke versus Michigan State. That's what I want as the championship. That no. Tell the truth. Tell the, tell the truth. You only made that pick because of the Tom Brady. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I didn't. Call I him out. Uh, Stall him out, smooth. Dude, dude <laughs> got the most dude got the most talent, man. They got the number one and number two draft pick. It's just a matter of shit. Who gonna go first, whether it's Beard or rather it's Zion? It's, it's, I think it's gonna be Zion, Zion though. Zion, of course, he got to put them seats in. The, you know, he got to fill them seats up. Exactly. Right? That's why I feel like that's that's probably gonna be the number one pick. Yeah. Would y'all be probably. shocked if he stayed? He's not. He's no, not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying hypothetically. I hypothetically because I did. I, don't, don't, I did read. He already gone, on, bro. On, what was that? MSN Sports. They posted. Would he stay? What would be he the up, upside of him staying? Y'all still no have to put upside. that. All right, Zion look. already gone, bro. Like when 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 these 
Yeah. If he's well, right, that's players, what I'm saying. Well, if some of these stay. players, a player like him, when he comes into the league, when he comes to college, he already gone. He don't supposed to be playing in college right now. He, he, don't be, wanna, he was he one of them kids that straight out of NBA, out of high school to the NBA. Some of these kids waste their time going to you know what I'm saying, going to college. But sometimes what? Not, I don't think it'd be a waste though. I I don't think it'd be a waste because the coach could could, could bro, elevate your game because he's only known for shitting that bitch. Bro, when I was in when I was in high school and shit, when I was going on like recruiting trips, I went to go see John Wall and Demarcus Cousin play. Right. I went to Kentucky for like a visit. I said, "Why the fuck am I watching Demarcus Cousins right now playing in college? For what?" That's the coach. Now, see, that's what it goes. No, goes I'm talking about coach. like but see, why, Calipari. I'm not Cal- talking about like why is he playing. I'm talking about he don't. He's one of them players. He should straight out of high school to the NBA. Right. Well, they got to stop there. Because, I mean, a lot of – the reason why I I would say it could be an option for him to stay is because of who his coach is. That's why. Man, if he went K to a – Cal- telling these kids to leave. Go get the bag. But it was a lot of, a lot of bus yeah. out of high school. Go get the – it was, it was, it was a, lot a lot of bus, of bus you know right. what I'm saying, out of so high school. I but, think that, but I'm just saying – you can go long, to you can go to war term, at eighteen, but you can't go to the, you know what I'm saying. You can't go wise, make money to support your family playing the sport that you love. Long term wise, <laughs> in the Duke system, Coach K, I ain't saying he got to stay all four, but I would say I would think about it. if I was him, I'd still consider it. Bro, since stay. when has Coach K ever had the number one and number two draft pick and just like Kyrie fucking Irvin. stay number one and number two and three? Never, y'all niggas look. Y'all be here for two or number three. Y'all, he got, he got Cam Reddish probably gonna go three. He got three out of four for sure. <laughs> y'all think he gonna go? Top? He probably going one, two, three. Duke, Duke. You know what I'm saying? He probably going one, two, three. All right, okay. It right. depends. Well, it depends. I, I think it's gonna boil down as far as the top five pick. It's still top five picks to go. It's still gonna boil down to March Madness. Listen, man. Zion, listen to your uncle Justin, man. Uncle Smooth, dog. <laughs> Take your ass to the NBA, bro. He'll jump too fucking high. <laughs> his game is predicated on his athleticism. I'm just studying nigga if 285. If he don't go, eventually that shit is going. He might fuck around. He jumps so high. He might fuck around jumping fucking tears, fucking ACL or something, man. Take yeah. your ass to the NBA, man. Got to. <laughs> knock on wood on that, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knock on wood. Right. My bad, yeah, my God, dog. My hey. bad, hey, dog. Yeah, but it can happen, bro. Hey, let's jump to the league, man. Let's talk about. The Lakers right now, man, they in trouble right now without without Brown. You know, it's crazy. I'm glad it's they happening because it's proving the point why Brown is probably the greatest player on the planet. On the, I'm glad you emphasize and say fuck planet. out of here. On Not the ever. Not on the planet. I right now, that. walking. Oh my god, I was about to start the start the fact spitting, huh? <laughs> okay, get the, get the fuck out of here. Who? We not, I we said not gonna, LeBron. No, no. I, we not gonna act like last week y'all was Brian shaming in here. I said no, I mean, not Brian saying y'all, y'all was no, y'all James Harden shaming. Oh, 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 you're yes. damn right. We yes. get to that topic. Well, but, we'll we get to that topic. You're but, a believer now. No, no, no. Fuck that. Don't don't put. I'm a believer. Listen, I get a team now, listen, if I, I try. I'm a Brian. I'm a Brian fan, dog, and this proves why Brian's the MVP. I I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what James Harden does the rest of this season, because. It's clear that when the Lakers had Bron, they were fourth in the West. Yep. Bron leaves, they're ninth. If that's not the MVP, I don't know what is. The only reason why James Harden is getting all this, all these, all these chances to score is because Chris Paul is gone. Air Gordon gone. Air Gordon's, Gordon's gone. Clint Capella gone. Clint Capella gone. Melo, shit, he had, he had the fucking right. lifetime fitness. They're running, but they're, they're gone. Eight they're gone, and that nigga went from the 14th seed. To the four seed, you still can't count out in game fucking James, dog. Man, listen, bro. I'm not. Why I, is it that every time we gotta talk <laughs> basketball, you always gotta bring up James Harden? Because he's fucking great, man. Fuck he's James great. Harden, he's dog. Great. And them lime green shoes, that tight ass velvet shirt. You seen wearing. the logo? You seen Damn. the logo for the motherfucking? Uh, I'm sick of James podcast. Harden, dog. I thought this was about Brian. Brian. Let's go, 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 Brian. Wait, wait, wait. Brian's good. We Brian's gotta, good. we gotta talk about the development of Lonzo and Ingram now. When when Ingram Bron went go. out, when Bron went out, we thought, okay, you know what I'm saying? Ingram and Zoe, they ready to step up into their own. Ingram got to go. Would you, y'all would Ingram trade him. Got it's time to go. I think go. it's time for him to go, too. Keep Kuzma. Ingram got to Kuz fucking and Hart. go. Kuz and Hart can stay. Yeah. yeah. Zoe, I think they can I wanted to, but, man. I think it's time to trade Ingram while he got some value. While, he, while, he's, value, why, while he's valuable right now. Trade him. You don't need. Why? Why would you want to wait? There's no reason to wait. Get something. Don't go and get something for him. Yeah, I'm I not trade, waiting. I trade Ingram. If it's time to, if you, if the Pelicans really want to get rid of Anthony Davis, 
and not lose them for nothing, they're going to take Ingram and whatever other package that, you know what I'm saying, whatever the, the Lakers as include. As long as the Lakers keep Kuzma, we st- they, well, no, they going to want Kuzma. They straight. They keep, I, I'm yeah, going to keep Kuzma. Yeah, you got to keep Kuzma. You got to keep Kuzma. He can play. I, I don't give a fuck what the Lakers offer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not giving up Anthony Davis. I don't give a fuck who they offering. I'm not hey. giving up Anthony Davis. Until that nigga says, comes to me in the front office and says, hey, you know what, bro? Get what y'all can. I ain't coming back. I got to keep him. No, that's, that nigga is a generational talent, bro. Generational talents don't just walk through the door every day. You know what I'm saying? Well, I would. And the Lakers, as far as the Lakers go, I like Zoe. I don't know what like it Zoe. is about I like Zoe, Zoe too. Though. I like he Zoe, plays dog. defense. He he plays defense. That's the th- that's the thing. A lot of motherfuckers uh, listen, don't play defense. That nigga no might he be defense. he might be uh NBA uh at least one of the top two defensive teams on the top two defensive teams. I agree. I so agree. Yeah. That nigga, he straps up, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pause. He straps up. And the oh, thing man. is, the thing is, like that the the main thing I like about him is like you see all these hey. all these other guards like they get beat off the dribble mm-hmm. and they just kind of lollygag right. back up the court. That nigga gets beat. He turns and runs. You know what I'm saying? He turns the ball over. He's back on defense. That's what I like about him. I would keep Zoe because you could develop him into a pretty much like future top yeah. ten point guard. Like so who would you who would you who would you pair off with with Ingram to trade off though? You you got it. You probably got to add Lonzo. No, That's what I'm saying. you can you can no. You, you got Lonzo. to between no, Lonzo and Hart. Who would you give up? Lonzo. He mm-hmm. got to go because at the end of the day, one thing we know about LeBron. Is no matter what team he on, he gonna be the point guard. It don't matter. He's yeah. gonna have a ball in his hands. Right. Period. Yeah. He don't need another player that's like him. He gonna operate. You know what I'm saying? He gonna have to run the show, like all throughout his whole entire career, whether it's been middle school, high school. You know what I'm saying? And since he's been in the league, he always gonna have the rock in his hands, and he always gonna dictate the pace of the game, and he's always gonna run the offense. Period. Why you think Kyrie wanted to leave so bad? It's Kyrie couldn't be the point guard. He couldn't distribute. Thanks. He couldn't. He thought the earth was flat, bro. <laughs> he don't count. He don't count. No, nah, man. That you got he got to you got to be real though. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the oh day, Bron, let me ask you this. Is is Bron showing his worth to the to the team right now? I would think yeah, of course. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They falling from 4th to, you know what I'm saying? I think what ninth now back yeah. to 8th. 8th place, so He's showing his worth. He's definitely valuable. But you uh, even when he come back, I, and we do, you know what I'm saying, he have a little streak and go crazy. You mentioned he won't Kyrie. win MVP. You mentioned Kyrie. This nigga Kyrie might be a Kyrie problem. don't get the credit he's that more, he deserves, but he we can talk about that another problem. day. Yeah, I'm about to say, he's more of a problem than Bron yeah. is. But Kyrie don't get the credit he deserves. Hey, listen, all Bron was trying to do is, is win, man. You know what I'm saying? But I... I can't give up Zo, man. No, I just see no. so much potential in Zo, dog. Like, man, Zo gonna be all right. Like, his jump jank, shot, man, going. that jump shot janky as hell. That motherfucker but drops dog, sometime, dog, dog, dog has been performing. You know what I'm saying? He might go, he might have a bad night, but then he might do something in the game. Like, damn, I saw that flash. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, I don't know. Only person I know for sure you trade is Ingram. <laughs> but when it comes to getting Anthony Davis. You give them whatever the whatever. fuck they want to yep. give outside of LeBron. Hell yeah. Shit, we a trade magic to get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for real. Take like, the whole fucking yeah, team. Everybody. Everybody. I ain't going to lie. Cool. To, get Ant- to get Anthony Davis, the Pelicans going to want Cools. Yeah. He's a he's a star. Yeah. At the end of the day, you you trading a star for a generational, ta- for a generational talent. Whoa. You got to give him up. You probably going to have to give Cools up. Yep. We had a uh, question. Go ahead. We, we, our producer got, got a question. So They look at the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Why do y'all feel like GMs trade in the same conference? So the question was, why do GMs trade within the conference? Within the conference. So uh, if I was to touch on it, pause. <laughs> it's <laughs> freaky. If I was to touch on it, I, I would to trade in. The, I would say to basically like a rebuilding stage. I mean, I I would say they probably do that to trade within the conference to rebuild. Yeah, lack of a better term, that's it. To try to rebuild because what they a GM will be like, all right, we got Anthony Davis. So what they'll try to do is build around what they have. If building around that star player doesn't work, 
then they'll just trade him and try to just rebuild all together, which teams have done before because the Pistons did it. That's how they got to the championship. That's how they won their ring. Yeah, that's why we in the position. Where right, right. But, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> exactly. teams have done it. It it was successful with the Pistons. Right. And then, but now look, longevity-wise, we fucking suck. So it's like really rolling the dice if you want to rebuild a whole team or rebuild a whole organization. that's pr- That will be their only – Cognitive thought, logical thought that I would say why GM would trade their star player. So you would trade I don't. Anthony Davis. Hell to the fucking no! I would not trade <laughs> Anthony no. Davis. Hey, at the end of the day, you you gotta you gotta look at it like this: Anthony Davis got this is the last year's contract, right? Yeah. You gotta get the best available next year. Next year. It's the next year. Next year. Yeah. He's leaving. He's leaving. Yeah. If he ain't making no commitment, to period. You. He hasn't made no. He hasn't made no yeah. commitment. You gotta give him up. You got to. At the end of the day, if I'm a GM, and Anthony Davis is like, listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making no commitment towards the team. You know what I'm saying? I got to see what you do in the offseason or, or something like that. It's time to go. Ain't nobody just willingly going to the Pelicans. So we got to be real about that. They got DeMarcus Cousins via trade. You know what I'm saying? Like, but these you know, GMs I, being, like, hard. You know what I'm saying? This, this, is a, this is a tough predicament, bro. It's either – I would say add – you could add somebody to him. Because if you think about it, like, if you – the Pelicans team last year in the playoffs, mm-hmm. picture that team – with Julius Randle, Rondo, Drew Holiday, yeah. put Miritich at the fucking three, Julius Randle at the four, or even come off the bench, that team would have made more noise. You Getting can, swept in the first round if you played against Houston or or the Warriors. Sweep. Mm-hmm. With Julius hey, Randle, that nigga's a horse. Trade, you trade Anthony Davis. You're, you, you already gave up the fact that you're not making the championship. So at that point, making the playoffs – is out of loss. You don't want to make the playoffs. You want to get one of them top 10 picks and hope to God that you can pull off, get another generational talent, which it might be one in this draft, but like, it is. It's, it's Anthony, a couple in this like, draft. Only way I'm trading away Anthony Davis is because he's going to leave and I need to get something for him. I can't just let him walk and not get nothing. You have to let him get, you got, you got to get something. So whether it's, yeah, Nobody on the not, it. well, you there is this one guy, number twenty-three, uh, the king, but they're not trading him. Not gonna no, do, no trade not clause, no, but you know no. what I'm saying. You know how that go. That's not gonna happen, man. Let's get into. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I would well, You're not the Lakers. I would, I would go for it. I mean, that's. Yeah, I see. Don't nobody want to trade no player to the Lakers. Let's. I want to. Let's get into this streak, man, with James Harden, man. Uh, 17, oh, 17, straight, <laughs> 17 straight games of 30, 30 points. Uh, 55 uh, piece stuff. He thing. just broke uh, Kobe's record. Uh, uh, that hurt your feelings. He man. just broke who he record? Got, uh, since 1976, he, uh, you know what I'm saying? He didn't, since the merger, he didn't, he didn't broke the record? streak. Who record did he break? He broke Kobe's record. Uh, <laughs> this is what I want to say about, you know what I'm saying, James Harden on this streak. In game. James Harden a bucket getter. Yes. In game, James. No question at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? He get buckets. He's a volume shooter. He's going to take a lot of shots to get, you know what I'm saying, the he points that dimes. he gets. And he, he gets got dimes. to right now. He gets dimes. Right now, he got to. He gets dimes. Playing in the system that he plays he in, in, the, in the Dan Tony system, when you got the rock in your hand 90% then of the time, it don't matter. and you drive to the hole and three people is come towards you, and fucking P.J. Tucker is wide open with nobody <laughs> around him and 20 feet around him, <laughs> how hard is... Bro, that's not fucking hard to get an assist. That's the easiest shit ever. If I can drop to the lane and two people are going to come towards me, three. 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 And I can kick it to PJ Tucker or whoever else and somebody that's wide open? That, how hard is that to get an assist? Dan Tony offense 2.0 because he's James fucking oh Harden. Oh, my God. All what right? the, this is what I want to say about Harden, man. Everybody can't come up here. I feel like he's the Peyton Manning of the NBA. Now, you got to have watched Peyton Manning in a regular season to have Actually, you know what I'm saying? No, while I'm saying that. Peyton in the regular season is a beast. A fucking beast. The greatest regular season quarterback we've ever seen. Period. Facts. Period. <laughs> when it gets to the playoffs, do we see the same Peyton Manning? Oh. No. No. Oh. When we get when we oh, get nah. to the NBA playoffs, do we see the same James Harden? No. Last year he showed up. When did he show up when? He, he did. In the game was... seven, his team missed 26 straight threes. Hey, Where's your mid-range game? What else do you got in the toolbox? They got there. Why are you only shooting threes? <laughs> they got there. Slow the game down. They got there. You can, he got to show me more, bro. They got there. 
They got, got there because <laughs> he went from being a six man. I'm just saying, though, he got CP, you got Capelli. He had a great squad. CP didn't play. CP did play. He played in the first round, second round. He played in the third round. He just got hurt after game five. He was there. That's when they needed the motherfucker. Because of why James Harden couldn't pull it through. You playing the fucking Warriors, and it's just you, <laughs> bro. Hold, hold on, hold on, no, hold on. Excuse, no hold excuse on. for twenty six right. missed threes, bro. You got, you got motherfucker. You got three niggas that can get thirty. Three niggas that can get thirty, and you talk about why he could. But it's just James Harden, Listen. and so, that don't play defense, and you got to check three motherfuckers that get thirty. You, they should, if, if anything, nigga, the shit shouldn't have went to Game Seven. If you real, if you want to be real about the shit, they did go seven. I, I, because it's just James Harden. And he he for one, he don't play fucking defense. He's a defensive liability. That's my man's hundred grand. But he's a defensive liability. And when you really don't have nobody else, and you got to play the fucking Warriors, and we talked about Kevin Durant last week is a walking threat every time he touches the court. And you got two of the best shooters in the league talking about why he couldn't pull it off. As as the resident forecast, James Harden. James Harden hater oh my on God. this podcast. You want to know the reason why he don't turn up in the playoffs? If you say anything about start, traveling, listen, you can get the fuck they out. They start calling the game tighter. Man. And all that traveling <laughs> shit don't fucking work in oh the motherfucking playoffs. God, That's God, why. God. It's not but don't nobody man. care about all that uh, fake ass Euro. Oh, foul. Oh. Or, oh, that janky ass step back. You want to know why? Because they call the game tighter. They that, do. And he can't get the job done. He can't beat the Warriors by himself. Uh, LeBron did. Oh, oh. He had a better well, team. LeBron, yeah. no, no, no. He had a better <laughs> team. Kyrie. Yeah. He had a better Sorry. team. We gotta stop acting like Kyrie did not was not yeah, killing Steph. I was about to say. <laughs> Steph yeah, was uh, the come unanimous on. MVP, Thank getting you. his ass shredded in the finals. Who hit the game Before, winner? Who hit the game winner? Kyrie. LeBron. LeBron had to hit the free throw at the end of the game. There's not. There's what the fuck? Oh my no, god! Hey, that, take there. Justin Mike away. Oh, if I can't talk about Vinny Testaverde, this nigga can't talk about no fuck. Kyrie, step back. Huh. What did Kyrie do? Y'all want to bring up Kyrie, he so y'all going to act like Kyrie. What did Kyrie do before LeBron? I'm going to tell you what he did. He sat at home but it and watched two. the draft lottery. It, you need somebody else. That's what I'm saying. You LeBron take- almost beat these niggas by himself. And James Harden did, ahead, too. Ahead, ahead. Let me tell you. So you asked the question, why? where was Kyrie at before LeBron? Name his players on his team that he had. Oh, <laughs> Booby Gibson. It's funny. You, it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny you said that because I know a guy. You might know him. You might know him, LeBron James. He took that same squad, probably least amount of people, to the championship. No, 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 no. He took Danielle Marshall. <laughs> Let's know. He took Danielle. Sadrunas Elgowskis. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, 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 Daniel Booby Gibson. Booby can go get shoot. 20 on his own. Shoot. He was a listen, motherfucking listen. shooter. LeBron could take us four negative to the finals. To the finals. Listen, we get swept or not, we're in the finals. That's well, You can't say that shit about Kyrie. Oh, speaking of Kyrie, let's, what, what is Boston doing? Oh, they're in the ray. Why? They fight. They fight each other. Oh, my, because they of Kyrie. My point. My point. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Impressive is the streak Harden's doing. I think it's at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Give he that get man a, his He get a lot of credit. calls and all. The, you know what I'm saying? The man, bullshit, the flops, him. and everything. But what he's doing right now, we can't deny. It's um, it's unbelievable. Give that man his credit. Let's 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 move Mama, on, man. Let's, there goes that man. Let's talk about Pacquiao versus Bronner, man. Pacquiao what versus the Bronner. Oh, man. Pac- who y'all got? Pacquiao. Let's, first, let's just go down the line. Art, who Pacquiao. you rolling with? Uh, depend on which Bronner come to the fight. <laughs> I'm going to roll, I'm a roll Pac-Man, though. How I'm many a, rounds? I think it's going it's to go the whole fight. I think it's going to go the whole the whole way. One of our producers got a question. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. They talked about. They've been talking about this fight for a minute. They talk. Which? Yes. Yes. I for sure do. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes. I do. At the end what? of that, I for sure do. What? I fuck because with. I, I fuck with AB. AB is hilarious. Because dude. I because I like. I, for one, I'm a boxing fan. I watch boxing. I watch all. I watch. I watch the the Fox boxing. I watch ESPN boxing. This is this is real in a boxing in a boxing. It's not even that. It's the fact that Pacquiao got something to prove because he got the short end of the stick on ESPN. That's the whole thing. It's 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 showing 
is basically this fight is going to expose the politics of boxing. That's why it's going to be a big fight because that goes back when we talked about Wilder versus Fury. The reason why Wilder, well, that shit was called a draw is for politics. And that shit shed a little bit of light. But this Pacquiao versus Browner fight is going to expose the boxing, the boxing politics. So be- I'm not saying that it's not going to be a big fight. I don't it, care about these two niggas fighting each other in boxing. Yes. Yes, yes, because these man, niggas this names shit, this it, shit. It's the, na- it's the name alone. Listen, I don't really yeah, care. Yeah. I'm more excited for the uh, the fights that's coming in the future. Like the future fight that got a lot. But since we are discussing it, I want my nigga AB to knock Pacquiao ass the fuck oh out and send that God, nigga bro. back to the fucking Senate. Man. This motherfucker yeah, is from. It. He's from a country yeah, where niggas it, kick and punch bamboo trees. Oh. This nigga's gonna beat brakes off dog. Listen. He talk too much. A B about the only, billions. The only A B that's it. worth talking about is Antonio Brown. About billions, man. It's just, it. He's about. Oh, man. I'm letting no. y'all know. I got. I, I got packed in round ten, man. <laughs> <laughs> round ten, it's you over. Pack, uh, I got. Well, I, I, I want Browner to win for the for the culture, but man, the is, fucking is he culture. Take, is he taking? Is he? Y'all is saying Pack ain't, ain't taking? No, bro. Is he taking? <laughs> y'all saying my nigga Pack ain't oppressed? No, is he? I'm just saying though. What I want, culture? I want Browner to, just the to win. Team we culture. need that shit talking. We need the interview afterwards. We need the. Y'all we need the rematch. No, we need. We need. Pac- we need it. We need, we need we that. Don't need bro. that we shit. Need we need Pacquiao to walk up. Listen, let's, let's, so you mean out. to tell me I knock him fuck out? So the I shit, the shit that Wilder is doing right now, that's that's not ignorant. To, I would beat the fuck out of Mike Tyson in his prom. But you just want that shit. He would get his ass. I seen Mike Tyson get his ass in his prime. No, I'm talking about I'm he man, got knocked out by Buster Douglas in his about, prime. Got I'm talking about first 25 hey. fights, Mike. Hey, oh, yeah. hey man, bro, listen, dog. The, the, the culture, we need that. that so the, we oh, need that ignorant shit. No, that we, we don't need, need that shit. Oh, we things, things are getting heated out here. We need Pacquiao. Getting heated. Pacquiao is the culture. All right, I come in, I knock him fuck out. And listen, and listen, that's complete. That's not a bad path to follow. I mean, oh, 50 have God. tried and 50 have fallen. I'm not talking about boxing. Yeah. I'm talking said, about money-wise. Hey, shit. listen, man. He don't. But no, all jokes aside, though, dog. I always, I always want to see the, I always want to see us succeed, bro. And this is like the black power shit, bro. I always want to see black people do good. That's all I want to see. But you, you asking me, you asking me as an expert, it's my opinion. But who's gonna win? I'm not looking for AB to, to, to talk I, about Trump or nothing. I said for the culture. Pacquiao, <laughs> Pacquiao is the better, Pacquiao is the better fighter. I expect him to win, but if Bronner win, I wouldn't be mad because if Bronner win, I'll be pissed. Day, Artie, you know what I'm saying? It's Artie, 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 Artie pick Pacquiao. Let, let, let baby Jesus talk. Artie, Go ahead. Artie pick Pacquiao to win the fight. Pick Pacquiao. Yeah, he's Artie a smart Pacquiao. man. He's a right. smart man. About <laughs> billions. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Stanley. <laughs> we gotta move. We gotta move on, man. Let's let's uh, let's let's jump into it, man. I know y'all didn't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Worldwide. Clemson won the national championship. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> they got. <laughs> they got they, ba, ba, ba. they got flew out to the White House, man, and Trump pretty much had him a buffet of fucking happy meals. <laughs> like me, like I was really, I was watching that and I was like, yeah. You got, you flew, you flew around here for some happy meals. You could have stayed at the crib. Where's the ass gas for this track? What of the course, ass gas? It, was, it wasn't here. even course, a microwave and sight. Yeah, man, like, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, for the experience, you know what I'm saying? Being in the White House is cool or whatnot, but. If that, Come on, bro. If that you, wasn't like you flew me out for a a, a Big nuggets. Mac and some a small fry and a ten piece nugget. The motherfucking quarterback said it was an awesome trip. <laughs> no, I mean he being politically correct. He's being politically fucking stupid. Yeah, being <laughs> politically said correct, it's an awesome trip. Yeah, he don't, he don't really. But I bro, mean, they I took a trip to Mickey. That, they took a trip to the White House to eat <laughs> Mickey <laughs> D's and Wendy's, bro. bro. They could have yeah. stayed at Clemson <laughs> for that shit. It's a McDonald's across the street. From the Clemson Stadium, bro, and you literally took a trip to DC for a four for four, for a four for four, and a happy meal, a burger and a fry. I bet you. And then Trump whole ass gonna blame it on the motherfucking uh, the shutdown. The shutdown. You like, can't blame that shit on the shutdown. Get him the fuck out. His staff wasn't there. Yeah. Wait, he could have got. Bro, he could have got he could have got a restaurant to cater that shit. Let me for tell them, you bro. something. Let me tell you and something. Nigga, they care. And Dabo Sweeney, Dabo Sweeney, you a bitch because because <laughs> your dumb ass gonna take them take them boys Tag up that there. Nigga. Go take them boys up there for no fucking reason. Dog. I'd have walked like, out. Like, keep the them fuck at home. Is. Obviously, the nigga don't care. Give a fuck about y'all if he fed y'all niggas Mickey D's. Right. Nigga, they have a trainer at Clemson that prevents them from eating. 
the shit that y'all ate at the white house. They eat again. They eat again. They eat again. They eat again. Bro, this shit pissed me off so much. I do get the eating. That shit pissed me off, man. Fuck you, Dabo. Hey, yeah, that's some that's some dumb ass shit. And then and then in the Happy Meal, they probably gave him girl toys. They ain't giving the right fucking toys. They gave him bullshit ass toys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with I ain't with that man. Nah, he did wrong. Let me tell you something. The cleansing football, the cleansing football, Happy Meal, four for four. Bro. You throw the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, man. Man, no, nah, that that was uh that was a slap in the face. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Let's he, get he gave him cold McDonald's. He yeah. didn't get, he didn't have it hot. It wasn't hot. That shit was cold. And that's that's, that's where the disrespect comes in. The cold. cold Big Mac? <laughs> yeah, I have. Trash. And it was sitting there for an hour before and I didn't they even walked cry. Even, I didn't even see a beverage in sight. So I didn't know <laughs> right. how it was. Oh, did they watch that shit? With. Oh, the yeah, government shut down the water. Yeah. The water shut down, too. Water yeah. shut down, too. Man, fuck them, man. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Trump was on some bullshit for that. That's. One of our producers said that a lot deal. of other people it was a big it was a big, big deal, deal because on a plane ride there they ate better food than what they ate at the White House. Hundred percent. That's why it was right. a big deal. The fucking right. pretzels was probably right. lavish, right. nigga. Roasted peanuts. Right. <laughs> Listen, a trip to the White House and the food on the plane was better than the, the effort, food in the, than the White House. effort that was put into feeding. That these shit things. is crazy, bro. Niggas had roasted peanuts on the motherfucking trip there. What if it was? Uh, what if it was? Yep. Uh, one of our uh, soundboard. If it had been a no, burger. Bro, I don't want to go there to go oh, eat. If it was Chick Fil A, if it was Chick Fil A, I'm in that hole. I'm <laughs> in that hole for the filet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The niggas, the niggas eating. They eat that every day anyway. Who, who <laughs> niggas eat that every day? Because I don't eat Chick Fil A. No, if it was Popeyes, it would have been a problem. Oh, it would have yeah. been a problem. Yeah. That every day. That Trump had. Hey, listen, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. If Trump, if Trump would have flew. Them players there and had Popeyes wait for them to eat. <laughs> it would have been a problem. He, hell yeah, I would have ate. Hey, come on, yeah, come on, hey, hey, no, hey, no, hey, hey, tag, tag Donald well, me, Trump. No, I not know. Ta- oh. Tell him to fly unsportsmanlike like conduct first out off, there for the Chick Fil A. I <laughs> wouldn't have went. I don't give a fuck what Dabo said. I'm not going to the White House. I'm not going to the White House to see a man that don't love us, that don't love my people. Fuck that. Don't care about our people. Nigga, it's, it's kids out here that's not that's athlete. not that's not fucking eating right now because they, my man ain't got no athlete. money. You're an athlete. Oh no 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 no! I don't want AB gonna beat Pacquiao ass. Boy, boy. And we gonna oh, we gonna be sitting here next boy. Wednesday. Here we go. Next Wednesday, baby we girl, baby girl, about... baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. So you saying <laughs> that Trump care about Pacquiao people? Them niggas over there still kicking bamboo trees, Bro, nigga. Trump, Trump they still care. over there kicking Trump bamboo trees, care. nigga. They live on Pacquiao. Trump <laughs> only care about Trump only care about Trump. And the rich, bro. Trump don't care no give a fuck about us, bro. It's crazy. It's and Trump, obvious, Trump damn near the same color as Pacquiao. This nigga don't give a fuck about that nigga, man. Let's go, man. Hey, Orange last, to- last topic of the end of the day. Let's move on, man. We got a we The playoffs, man. Back to the playoffs. Who y'all got, man? Who y'all got for this? Who y'all got moving forward to the Super Bowl? It's one by one. Rams versus Saints and why? Okay. So, kick it off. <laughs> kick it off. You already know who I got. Shout out to my man's golf. Okay. Golf gonna pull it out. Simply because I'm gonna just say the running game, the Saints defense aren't it man, Saints defense is not that really good. I said not that really good, but they're not good at all. Uh the, the Rams offensively gonna dominate that game. Uh they lost to them earlier in the season. I think they're gonna pull it out this time. And I don't even gotta speak on the Chiefs or Patriots. We already know who's gonna win that. Shout out to Pat Mahomes. <laughs> <clears throat> uh I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh I'm going with Easy Breezy. Uh Drew Brees is going to get the dub off of experience. And uh, so we going Saints, Saints against the Rams for sure. Okay, what about, ten point spread. What about the Patriots and Chiefs? Patriots and the Chiefs is going to come down to bad. All right, <laughs> bad and the clock are best friends. So we're going with Thomas, no do wrong Brady. Win by four. So what's the score? The score will come down to. What will the score be? You know? I'm gonna say, 35-31. All right. I'm gonna go New Orleans. Drew Brees. They gonna put up a good forty on them. They gonna put forty on them. Why? Ooh. Ten point spread. Okay. Ten point they spread. Put forty on them. Forty boys. to what? What the? What, forty to what? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a field goal. I'm gonna say thirty-seven. Okay. I'm a, yeah. Thirty-seven forty. What about the Brees? What about the Chiefs and but the uh, Chiefs and the uh, Patriots? Patriots all day. 
What's Brady about to pick them boys apart. Route runner. <laughs> What's the score? What you got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit the I'm road. A, I'm a route runner. I'm gonna say 27-21. 27-21. Get off. All right, man. I'm going for the Rams and the Saints. I got the Rams. Mm. I think the Rams is gonna win. Smart man. Oh, it's that, it's that side of the couch. I That's think it's y'all gonna sharing be, the mic. That's no, why I exposed y'all niggas. <laughs> I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be thirty-three to twenty-six. I wouldn't be surprised though if the Saints, you know, what I'm saying, win the game. Of course, they it's the home field advantage, but I just think that the Rams this time motivated this time around. So I guess we're gonna see. Motivated I think Sue, hold I think Sue and Donald gonna have big games. Last time when they played the Saints, they ain't get no sacks. That shit is not happening this week. I, I expect them, you know, what I'm saying to get after Breeze. Patriots versus the Chiefs. I gotta go with Brady, man. I, just don't, I don't see him. I don't see him losing. I just don't. I think the score going to be. The Chiefs is going to the petting zoo to pet mm, back. Score going to be because of the weather and what they saying it's going to be. I think the score going to be like 24 to 20. 24 to so, 20. Yeah, you got a four well, point spread. It looks like there will be one person on this podcast that will be uh, right this week. That's all we got for y'all, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the Forecast Podcast. Shout what out to get? our sponsors, Forecast. Make sure y'all check them out too, man. Let's get it. Go, man. We gotta end it off the bad, <laughs> bad humble. Oh yeah, <laughs> off the ooh. It look like you about to say some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck James Harden. <laughs> Don't you start this book. Fuck James Harden. All right, bro. All right, bro. Uh, and you got a beard like him, though. Uh, and you got a beard like him. Uh, no, he's a bitch. No, <laughs> he be traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh, out Tamo Shuttlesworth Putting in work since birth nigga 29 2 <laughs> You need people like me Hey it's the most interesting man. Like Jay Smooth Your resident James Harden It's your boy Artie Flex Luger And we out <laughs>